Hi all folks, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com. So, uh, user um, GUI Nono Gislane, I hope you, I said it right, on Google Plus, he asked me, hey Maxly, could you please make me a video tutorial on how you managed to reduce the rice size of your supposedly huge HD video files from your Canon 70 before you upload them on YouTube. Um, so I basically render my videos. Um, I'll actually show you. Let's go to my desktop real quick. So I'm going to actually show you uh, this next video I'm going to edit. Um, this is all my old stuff. And uh, what I have here on my left side is all my watermarks for all my different sites. I know I have too many sites. This time I'm going to do it for Android dummies. Um, and also I've, I have all these files down here. I got to go find um, where I copied it to, uh, I should be under Android Dummies. Um, so let me see, Android Dummies. Um, so I'm going to do a video on search engine change. I'm just going to drag and uh, to my video, and let me show you how much, uh, how many gigabytes that is. If I just upload it straight, um, that will be. This is actually a. a that's 500 megabytes for a minute 30 second video. Now if you try to upload this, unless you have like a super fast internet, I have 20 megabits per second down, 25 down and uh, four, five up. So at, even at that, um, 500 megabytes, that's gonna take me like 20, 30 minutes. So what I do is um, also when you upload long files, YouTube doesn't like it because it's, you know, it's not really in the format they like. MOV file is great, but it's, um, that's not the favorite YouTube file. I find uh, the best format is WMV, uh, which is Windows format. And also it makes the size of the video much smaller while, while keeping the most of uh, quality resolution. So let's go here. I've got uh, my video here, and I'm going to drag and drop my AndroidDummies.com here, which is, shows my uh, watermark. And uh, you know I can preview it, whatever. Uh, and then I'm gonna save it and simply I'm gonna export it I export media um, this is by the way this is uh, called the uh, Android uh, not Android uh, Adobe Premiere Pro um, and uh, this is the most important part here uh, click video and I choose Windows Media 9 um, let me let me zoom in there and you can see that um, there's different formats you use. You can use um, Kodaks. Um, let me see. There's also um, oh up here you can choose uh, different types. But I've tried all of them. If you try to do MPEG4 or H2.6.4, it's gonna take forever to render. Um, and also I do Windows uh, Video 9. And also you can mess with some of these settings. But I just like to set it at 29.97, uh, which is um, the frame per, frames per rate I recorded in and also 1080p and that's pretty much it um, you can actually mess with the video bit rate um, video buffer size all this you can mess with it and try to get it as low as possible without degrading your performance and then you'll you can save um, you can save this this uh, your preset as a custom so I saved it so every time it's gonna do what I want it to do and you can also make the uh, audio um, so it's you know it's gonna be at the highest quality um, but you know it's gonna be uh, rendered and it's gonna be a smaller file so from 500 megabytes it becomes five times smaller it's only gonna take me um, to render this maybe 10 minutes plus uh, upload it another two minutes instead of like 20 minutes so if I render it and upload it I actually save time than just uploading the whole video plus I can put my um, my watermark there because you know people want to find this video sometimes all these you know all these people a lot of Chinese sites they'll they'll um, if your video gets famous they'll take it they'll put it on your uh, put it on their servers and you won't get any credit for it but if you put your watermark there um, users they can always see where this video is actually from and they'll look up AndroidDummies.com after they see the video. So that's another very important part of making your video. I used to not do this, but after I did it, um, people would find a way back to my site. So I'm gonna uh, put it on queue. And uh, one of the coolest parts about uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is there's actually a separate program um, that actually renders. 
So the thing with I, I tried Sony Vega and some of the other programs, the problem was it would try to render it in the whole same uh, program. And what would happen is sometimes it would crash and you would lose your render and also you would lose your, you know, whatever you're working on. And it was, it was just crap. But, but this one, you can actually even hook up a bunch of computers and rent, make a separate rendering uh, computer. Um, I don't know how to do that, I just use you know, one computer. But this is great, I can have it render, I can even pause it, um, you know, if it's taking too much time, I can always, you know, I can even close this because I'm done, and my rendering program is, uh, you know, gonna have a more memory, and also there's some stuff you can do um, pref under preferences, uh, make sure, let me see, preview while encoding is off because they'll make it uh, encode faster, and also under memory, you can actually increase the memory used for um, for your uh, rendering. So I've got it at 6.5 gigabytes, so it'll render faster. And uh, so after it's done, I'm gonna upload the WMV file that's made, and that's pretty much it. So that's how I render my videos, and uh, I think it's a good way. I mean, if you're just gonna upload like, you know, um, SD videos like you know low resolution videos you don't even need this Adobe Premiere Pro but I just do it because I use um, 1080p exclusively and you know one of the one of the reasons I do that is my video looks cooler than somebody who uploads a blurry video um, and also you know with this rendering it's gonna make my video look crisp clear even if you don't hit that HD button so that's why I'll do all this. I'm not a to total professional about all this, but you know, I'm just sharing what I'm doing and uh, I hope this helped you. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, share with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And uh, we're gonna go get high on Android now. See y'all later.